820 Central Time. We're in Matthews, Missouri. And Rhonda says we'll be at our customer at 520. Our appointment's at 6 a.m. So we're going to be early.
loaded here in Memphis. 8.24 in the morning. 6 o'clock was our appointment, but she said it was uh, 7.30. But they put me in a door right away. Oh man, look how rough these tracks are. What? Don't buy a car in Memphis, they take the tracks hard. Gonna be beat up before you. I mean, that was rough. I guess cars got better shocks than we do. In a half mile, turn left on East Rains Road.
Street, ML, approaching destination on the right side, in 450 feet. We're good. Walk around a little bit. This is uh, the Petro here in Jackson, Mississippi. I'd fly the drone, but I can't. We're too close to an airport, so I can't fly the drone. So we'll have to do it this way. But over there is uh, the Blue Beacon. We'll be doing that tomorrow. Right there is the shop. And then of course, we're going right into the, uh, where the iron skillet is. Oops, we're gonna get hit. Gotta watch these crazy drivers, you might get... Now we got Schneider, he's backing up. We don't know where he's going. I don't know which way he's going. I guess I'll, I'll jump over here. Maybe. <laughs> we got it. Okay. You got it? He going in the four. Get the back up so he can get. If you're gonna walk around at a truck stop though, just because you're a pedestrian, I mean, okay, most generally pedestrians got the right of way, but don't think that your uh, your right of way is going to give you that right of way because a driver may not see you. So you got to give respect to the truck. And if he doesn't see you, you just got to keep aware, you know. Don't get mad at him, he just probably didn't see you. I don't know if that made sense or not, but I guess what I'm trying to say is just be careful if you're walking through a truck stop. And if you got kids, <laughs> sometimes a driver takes his kids don't let them run around a truck stop where the trucks are roaming because they're even harder to see right they're smaller trust me a driver doesn't want to run over your kid he really doesn't hey I don't think he planned but I don't think he plans on coming out here to to harm your family 
Not on purpose, anyway. Yeah, we're empty. We got that last load off. We don't have a load yet. I didn't think we would. That's okay, though. We're going to walk around. I'm going to grab me a paper towel. You got to blow my nose if I can get that out. Damned up. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go inside. I I'm pretty sure they got an iron skillet in here. Stunk. Actually, didn't smell too good when I walked through that door. They got a barber shop. Got a couple food tables. seeing here it's a Johnny Cash picture that's his first guitar that he bought he bought that in Germany oh wow check that out find that oh I love it man I love it. Okay, you know who this is, don't you? That's B.B. King. Wow. But I do indeed like this picture right here. I will make this my thumbnail. Johnny Cash. I love it. they got here oh okay it's where their uh, where their store is oh we walk did we walk around I do believe that's what we just did there it is guys chicken Alfreda but that's with blackened chicken that's like a Cajun chicken so that's different. But anyway, we'll be right back. We're starting a new day. I, I, I forgot to put my ending in, but we're in Jackson, Mississippi, and we're getting ready to roll to get to our next pickup. So, but I gotta put my closure in. I forgot to do it. Really, it doesn't make, I, I hate ending the, the film right when I'm driving or like when I'm showing up, up at a customer I prefer to put the ending in the video at least that way you get to see the doggies a little bit but uh but anyway we're getting ready to roll right we're gonna go bye bye I, I did I did somebody asked me do do I ever take my dogs out yes I do I just don't really film it too much because really these guys are like energy bound and I have them on leashes and I don't want to do nothing that's going to cause me to either drop their leash or whatever so when I usually take them out I concentrate on that um, sometimes I do put you guys on the hat cam uh, but I, I got in one thing about that you know somebody said they didn't care for that too much so you know what I'll leave the camera in the truck then and just take the dogs out you know but uh, I can't hold the camera and take them out at the same time. I just can't do it. Um, I don't want to lose my dogs, especially when I'm at a truck stop, right? They may get loose, get, get hurt. 
But anyway, we're going to get ready to go. I want to thank you guys for chiming. And stay tuned tomorrow for another video. And if you're not subscribed to us, check us out. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. It's in the lower right hand corner. That little thing that says subscribe. You can hit that anytime you want. And that will allow you to subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video, please share it and give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. That being said, we're going to get out of here because we got to roll. Thank you for watching. Later.